Hudson Billington's L Class 464 tank locomotives were amongst the final ones built for the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. The idea for the class came around in 1913, when Billington needed more express locomotives. He was unsure if he should enlarge the J1 and J2 class locomotives built by his predecessor, Douglas Marsh, or whether he should design a new 460 locomotive. He ultimately placed an order for one 464 tank and one 460, though he realised that the tank engine would be more useful and amended the order after the tank had been built. It was of a 464 design rather than a 462 in order to provide more stability when running bunker first and to also give a larger fuel capacity. When they were built, the class were numbered 327 to 333 with these numbers gaining a B prefix after 1923. From 1931, they became numbers 2327 to 2333, and after being temporarily assigned the numbers S2327 to S2333, they became British Railways numbers 32327 to 32333. On the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, only numbers 327 329 and 333 carried names, these being Charles C. McCrae, Stevenson and Remembrance respectively, with number 329 being named at the request of a Stevenson Locomotive Society. The latter two kept their names after being rebuilt as Class M15X locomotives, whilst number 327 became Trevithick. Number 328 became Hackworth, 330 became Cudworth, 331 became BT, and 332 became Stroudley. The locomotives kept these names for the rest of their lives, and number 333 Remembrance carried a plate underneath, reading In grateful remembrance of the 532 men of the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway who gave their lives for their country, 1914 to 1919. This is because number 333 was the War Memorial locomotive for that railway. After numbers 327 and 328 were released into traffic, it was discovered that they were unstable at speed due to surging water in the tanks. They were then modified to have a large well tank between the frames and to have the top of the tanks blanked off to lower the centre of gravity. This modification proved successful, and numbers 329 to 333 were given it from new, though their construction was delayed by World War I. The last five entered service between October 1921 and April 1922, with number 333 being the final locomotive built by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway prior to their merger into the Southern Railway. Numbers 329 to 333 had much smaller side tanks, but these were disguised behind tall steel sheets in order to keep a uniform appearance amongst the class. After the grouping, the L class continued to operate on express passenger trains, though their Robinson superheaters were replaced with Richard Mansell's own design. The London to Brighton line was electrified in 1933, displacing the class to Eastbourne, but once again, their work was threatened with electrification, leaving a relatively new class of express locomotives with little work to do. Therefore, starting with number 2329 Stevenson in December 1934, the class would be rebuilt as 46 or tender locomotives and reclassified as class M15X. The idea was to send them to the western section for further service for operation alongside the class M15, or King Arthur class. However, crews initially recognised the type as an improved version of the King Arthurs, but the Remembrance locomotives did not perform as well and were also less powerful, but were known for their great acceleration. During the conversion process, the trailing bogey, bunker, cab and tanks were removed and the frames shortened and fitted with a Lord Nelson type cab. The front end received a King Arthur type of blast pipe and chimney, the boiler pressure was increased, and the piston diameter was decreased. 
Smoke deflectors were fitted, and they also carried Yui Design 6,000 gallon tenders, taken from Class S15 locomotives. Once any difficulties had been overcome, the M15X locomotives offered sterling service on Basingstoke trains, but found themselves operating secondary services rather than the London to Exeter Expresses as initially intended. This was because they were rough riding and not as efficient as the King Arthur's, whilst they also lacked the performance that they had during their L-Class days, making them relatively unpopular with crews. However, a nice twist of fate is that the class were used as a demonstrator for the January 1936 edition of the Railway Magazine, showing potential new liveries for the Southern Railway. Sketches were made of number 2327 Trevithick, with one in the usual southern olive green, one in a dark brown with the lettering SR on the tender, one was in blue, and another in a light brown which even had a copper cap chimney. A few months into the Second World War, number 2328 Hackworth was at Nine Elms and suffered bomb damage, along with class M15s number 751 Atar, 755 The Red Knight, 775 Sir Agravine and 776 Sir Gallagher's, as well as class T14 number 458. But all locomotives except for the T14 were later rebuilt. Some were loaned to the Great Western Railway between 1942 and 1944 for freight work, though their situation did not improve after the war. A high number of bullied Pacifics took on their work, meaning that the Remembrance class were, once again, redundant. They survived until 1955, when number 32328 Hackworth and 32330 Cudworth were withdrawn. Number 32327 Trevithick was written off after running into the back of a passenger train at Walking in Surrey and was cut up at Eastleigh in 1956. Numbers 32329 Stevenson, 32332 Stroudley and 32333 Remembrance were withdrawn that year too. This left number 32331 Beatty to fly the flag for the class until her withdrawal came in July 1957. Unfortunately, no locomotives were preserved, due to their withdrawal before the preservation movement had kicked off in the UK.